All right, welcome everyone to The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. This is a new little LP that I'm planning on doing. Um, hopefully going on for a really long time. Uh, so let's jump into things here. I do not have any characters unlocked. Oh, I'm deeply sorry. Oh, man. There you go. <laughs> Um, so I'm super sorry, super sorry about that. So I don't have any characters, so I'm going to start off fresh. This is going to be essentially blind. I don't know much about this game. So let's get into this. I'm going to play as Isaac. Isaac is super cute. Oh, there's a library over there. I don't know what that is. Let's go down here. Oh, little meat man. I don't know what his name is. And we have an item room right here. Um, so kind of something that I want to talk to you guys about is, uh, in this, awesome, in this series, um, I know, like, nothing about anything about this game, and I know that tons of people know lots of stuff, um, in, on the internet, so, like, as this goes on, I'd like you guys to tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I can do here. What I can do there, you know, just kind of fun things, you know, like, uh, tell me what items do, give me comments, um, go on Twitter, I have a Twitter page, um, and yeah, so generally just kind of teach me things. Okay, so we have the boss room right there, we have no keys, so we kind of have to go through it into the boss room. First boss is the Widow. Um, I'm not sure, I've never faced a Widow before, um, it looks extremely creepy, uh, quite frankly. Got these little sphincter things over here, um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my dear lord, oh dear lord, oh dear lord, okay. So yeah, you know, kind of teach me things. Um, I'll be doing research and things on my own to try and figure out what is uh, best and like how I can do things. I'm also planning on doing like the challenges that it has in this game, but that is for another day. And so we've just defeated the widow. Yay. Oh god. Oh, I forgot about the sphincter things. We have to take them out before we can be done. Alright, that guy's dead. And that is dead. Squeezy. I, I I know what that is, actually. Whoa, we get so hard to So we're looking pretty good right now. Tears up, damage up, I mean we're doing pretty darn good here. Um Oh god, Isaac's getting pooped on? Why would you ever do that? Why would you ew, gross. Why would you poop on someone? Um, oh god. Um, this is kind of tricky. Maybe. Oh god, I'm gonna take so much damage here. Forgive me. Oh god. Uh, die! 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 Alright, we're good. <laughs> so, I just essentially lost all my little gray heart. Oh. oh god. And we need a key, which we haven't seen any keys or like bombs or key pills. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Well, I am not doing well. Forgive me, please. Um, because I'm doing horribly right now. But this is also my first ever run, so. Oh, flies. Thank you for being super easy. Also, check out um, the Will Ian Survive with uh, Ian playing this game. He actually survives really long, and we have a lot of fun with that. God, I'm gonna die. God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I refuse to die. I will survive. Um, so yeah, uh, jeez, oh, alright, D 
these guys are like the Freddy Cat dudes, but they also explode, like something like that. Yeah. Ew. Oh, keys. Oh, let's go to the item room before we go any farther. Because hopefully then we can get some cool things to help us move along our way. Uh, yes, I should start explaining what the items are that I know of. Um, the wooden spoon, I believe that's called. I mean, that's what it looks like. I have, I have no idea what it is. Um, oh, speed up. Oh. 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 Look. Isaac's been, like, beaten with the spoon. He, like, hit himself with the spoon. What the heck? That's creepy. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, so, let's see. So, we're just kind of clearing floors here. Nothing terribly exciting. Oh dear. Um, so, shoot. Uh, kind of something that I do know about this game is, um, the the colored ones are called like champions or something. I I forget their exact name here. Oh shoot. That was a that was a mistake, but kind of helpful. Um and so as you see that green one that I just killed, um he just dropped um money. So 3 cents right here. Oh man, we're going into the boss with one heart. This is not good. This is not good at all. But Larry Jr. is kind of an easy boss, I think. But they're oh now they're starting. I just I just have to be play this super safe. Oh my God, super safe. Oh Jesus, that was not super safe. Um, but yeah. Uh, ooh, what was I talking about? I always forget things when I'm talking about them. Um, yeah, Larry Jr. is not a terribly hard boss. You have to destroy um, each uh, each Larry because there's two of them um, um, to win. And as you're seeing there, he just kind of explodes as you whittle him down, um, and he'll poop. And the poop is kind of nice because sometimes it'll drop you things, but I think it very rarely drops it when you're fighting him. Um, yeah, Larry Jr.'s finished. Oh, and we got, got more hearts. Thank you. And this is like is just like the squeezy, so I'm, I'm shooting super fast now. But again, he's mutilating himself, which is weird. All right, down to the next floor. Um, I'm just gonna keep, skip those scenes because no one cares about Isaac's poor little life. This dude is like a like a grub thing, I think. Yeah, little little grubby dudes come out of him. And this is a mini boss because he's got some, you know, some health at the top. So mainly, what I want to do with this series is just teach people as I learn things in Isaac, so come at it in a totally fresh perspective and just kind of like, because when, when you watch a lot of Isaac players like Northern Lion or Green 9090 or Bisnap um, on YouTube, they, they go through things super fast and like I know from at least my experience having no idea what's going on in the game, they'll pick something up and you'll be like, well what did what did you just pick up? I not have any idea. Um, and it'll just it'll just be super crazy, and like they'll not pick up things, and they'll just be kind of like, oh, that's a bad i, that's a bad item, and they'll have no idea. So, what I'm planning on doing with this series is to teach you guys as I teach myself. Um, this series will have a title like something like learn with me. Ooh, ooh. Um, you'll probably already know because you will have clicked on the video already. And thank you for doing that. And please come back for more because I'm planning on doing a ton of them. Oh, there's nothing. I thought there was a door down there. I was like, yeah, good door. 
Um, so let's see. We're doing pretty good. We got quite a bit of damage. We've got quite a bit of tears up. We've got a little bit of speed up. Um, we don't have nearly as many, um, love the TNT. I'm not, I'm focusing on this. Oh god, I just hit shift on accident. Oops. Oopsies. Um, there we go. Oh. Oh, okay. So gray chests will give you, um, different items. Normally they're like keys and bombs, but this is like a passive thing that I have no idea what it does. Um, it'll, it'll sit up in that upper corner and it's just kind of a passive perk that'll, that'll help you with specific things. I, I have no idea what Mom's Pearl does. Quite. No flipping clue. Um, also, guys, if you want to ask me questions about things, I'll be more than happy to look it up for you and respond in the comments or on Twitter. Um, Twitter. I didn't realize that. Ooh. Tooth shot. Oh, yeah. So this one, he beats the living crap out of his face. Um, and then you fire a tooth, which does, like, every, every so often, which does, like, super damage every every you know when it shoots itself which my question is is how does Isaac have that many teeth to just keep shooting his teeth and we have horribly disfigured ourselves right now come on show your face oh these enemies are interesting because you can't hurt them while they're down um Oh, no. Uh, I'll explain them when I'm done killing them. <sighs> Gosh darn it. I'm sorry, guys. So, <laughs> that was the end of a run. So you get this little message screen here, and it says, Dear Diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in, the, in some cave. It will show the place where you died, which was Caves 1, which you can see in the bottom left, and... Then it will show you what you died from. It says it shows all the items that you had, and you know, replay back to main menu. Um, so those enemies essentially pop up, and you can only hurt them when they're trying to shoot at you, um, and they're safe while they're down. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching the first episode with me, or wa watching while I played the first episode. Um, there's definitely more to come. I'm going to be recording a ton tonight. Um, so yeah, definitely come and check out more. Um, as I learn more, hopefully I'll get better. I know there's a lot of hardcore people out there who want to be way more hardcore. You can help me become more hardcore. And you can tell me, like, certain things that I shouldn't pick up or I should pick up. Um, that will help me or hinder me. I mean, you can mess me up. I don't really care. I'll figure things out for myself. <laughs> but yeah, you know, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. See